Hi there, it's Jen with the Pink Magnolia out of Lubbock, Texas. And thank you so much for watching this video. As you can see, today's project is in really rough shape, but it won't be for long. I'm going to be using all Pink Couture products to give this old French provincial dresser a fabulous makeover. So stay tuned. We started out with a light sand and some scraping and cleaning with TSP and water. Now let's get started. As you can see, I'm starting out with a block of green at the bottom. That color is called Opulent from Paint Couture Paint Products. So I did Opulence at the bottom and I'm blending it up with Arctic White to give it a blended faded look. I'm gonna do that across both of the bottom dressers. Next, I'll be adding Midnight Blue along with Polynesian Pink. I'm wanting a pretty shade of purple and I'm gonna blend it down. Well, I didn't have a purple, so blue and pink together makes purple. So here we go. I'm starting out with Midnight Blue, a coat on both drawers. It's a beautiful shade of navy. Next, we're going to start blending in the Polynesian Pink. See how that changes it to a beautiful shade of purple? I really, really love it. If you want it a little bit more purple, just add a little bit more pink until you get it exactly the way you want it. So now I'm going to move over to the other drawer and do the exact same thing. And I'm trying to get it even across both drawers. I want it to look like an old Serape Mexican blanket. Next, I'm going to take Polynesian Pink and I'm going to blend that up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is continue that Caribbean coral down to the bottom drawer and we're going to have it fade into the Arctic white and go down into the Arctic white that was blended with the opulence. So it's just a really thin coat. We're not going to do a big fancy blend. We're just going to very lightly marry the Caribbean coral with the Arctic white. And I do try and get it to into a straight line somewhat to go all the way across the front of the dresser. We want it to be fairly even. And it's really hard to tell on the video that it is even because the, the front of the dresser is wavy, so it makes it a little tough. So I'm just gonna continue blending all the way across the front of the dresser on both of those bottom drawers. So now that I'm happy with the way the Caribbean Coral blends down into the Arctic White and the Green Mix, we're going to keep on going. So I decided that we needed a really thin white stripe across that middle drawer. I wanted to do just a little bit of a break between the Caribbean Coral and the Pink Mix. So here we go. That Arctic White just a smooth thin line across the front you want to be sure you go all the way to the edge of your drawers I have a, a slight habit of 
of stopping just before I get to the edge. So always be sure you don't pull a gin and be sure and go all the way to the edge of your drawers. We're gonna add just a little bit more to that little spot right there. It looks like it was a little bit thin. And we're just gonna smooth it out. And it's not a perfectly straight line. It might be a little bit wobbly, but hey, that's okay. I'm wanting this to look like an old Serape Mexican blanket. So it doesn't have to be exact. Now I've decided that I want to break up the line between the Caribbean coral and the white. So I'm taking just a really thin brush and adding a very thin, fine line of sea glass. Every Mexican blanket needs a little bit of turquoise, right? So I'm just going to continue it all the way across the bottom of both the drawers. And I actually decided to do the base of the dresser in the sea glass also. I wanted to see that big contrast. So now let's cover the base of the dresser. And you guessed it, we're going to use sea glass. It was the perfect shade of turquoise for this project and I absolutely love it. The sea glass is great for nautical themed projects as well as rustic projects. It's the perfect shade of turquoise. Next, I'm gonna paint some cactus. Every rustic piece in my point of view needs some cactus. So I'm using opulence with a little bit of the pitch black I'm even gonna throw some Polynesian pink and Caribbean coral on there for some highlights. Stay tuned. Okay guys, let's add some tiny little details. I'm using the pitch black across those white stripes just to add a little bit of pop. There we go, we're getting close. So I also added a coat of the antique gold to the top of the dresser and started adding leopard print with the copper and with pitch black. I also went in with the stencil and added stencil in pitch black just to give an extra pop. I love, love, love how this dresser turned out. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. All of the Paint Couture products work like magic and they're so smooth and so vibrant. I really love them all. I cannot recommend it enough. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it.